Okay, today I want to introduce you to some ideas around sampling. So understanding some of the terminology that we need to use and the ideas behind it. So I've got a little diagram here which I'm going to talk you through. So we start off by wanting to collect data about something. I might be a new business that's set up and going and I want to um, survey people in the local area to find out what kind of products they particularly would find useful for me to stock so that they would come in and buy them from me. I might be a school wanting to collect information from students about what could I do in terms of our local and in terms of our cafeteria food. Collecting opinions and um, collecting data in some form. So I start with some kind of target population and I define who that target population is. And that's kind of like my outer ring of my target here. And so that's what I start with. That's who I want to gather information from. Then once I know who I want to gather information from, I then go and look and say, right, well, who can I actually, what kind of list of people can I get? Okay, so I might be able to get a list of all the students in the school. Great. But if I wanted to get a list of all the people in the local area, I might need to go to Google Maps and get a list of all the people you know, the houses in that local area to get addresses that I could send out an email, oh, uh, sorry, a, a letter to, for example. So my sampling frame is getting a list of all the people. Now, the, I won't necessarily get every single person that lives in that area on that list because it might be that in some houses there are multiple different families that live in that house. There might be some houses that are unoccupied, that don't have somebody living in them. There might be new houses that are being built that are not yet on the map because the new roads haven't been updated onto Google Maps. Um, there might be students, from students at a school, again, new students that are coming in, students that have left the school or don't frequently attend. or So there is always a problem with these, the sampling frame and it doesn't contain everybody that I might want it to contain. It contains most of the people, but not all. Now, there are some situations, though, that I can't get a sampling frame from. Think about cell phones. Is there anywhere a list of all the cell phone numbers and the people who own those numbers? No, there is not. And so, therefore, there are some situations where I, don't, I can't get a sampling frame. It simply doesn't exist. So that's means that from all the people I want to target, so from all of the people that I'd like to gather information about, my target population, I've now got a slightly smaller group of people that I can actually get information from. So that's my next layer within my little target there. Then I look at the sample itself. So then I actually go and take a sample. So I go and send out letters to everybody on my sampling frame, everybody's address that I can get hold of, um, or ask every student in my class that I've got a name for, and I go and ask them, can you fill in and answer these questions for me, please? And so depending on what day it is, depending on whether something gets lost in the mail, the people that I actually sample is a slightly smaller group within that, and that's our next layer of our target. Then I get my actual respondents. So these are the people who actually fill in my survey. So just because I actually ask you to do my survey for me doesn't mean you actually will. So my respondents are then those that actually fill in that survey and give me data. So that is then my slightly more inner layer within this target diagram. So you can see how we start with this great big target population of who we would like to gather information from. So we want to know about our target population. That's who we're aiming for. Um, oh, undo that. So, so we want to know about our target population. But then I've got to look at my sampling frame. Who can I actually get a list of people? Then from that gets smaller because then I actually go and take my sample and find out, oh, I can't be bothered walking up that road today. I'm not going to bother with that one. Or a letter gets lost in the mail, never actually makes it to the address. 
and then from with those people I actually get um, a survey sent out to I've got respondents the people who actually then fill in my survey so I end up with a much smaller group of people from my original target population than I, than I would have liked to so that is some of the key ideas and key terminology behind um, how we go and take a sample.